Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and this is my latest video and it's going to be a shorter one I think and it's going to be on the app called Sky Safari. Now a little bit of background about Sky Safari, I consider it one of the must have apps for people to use on their mobile phones or their iPads or tablets or whatever. It allows you to calculate your field of view with different pieces of equipment, with different eyepieces, different telescopes, and you can sort of get an idea of what you should be seeing. I use it pretty much every session, whether it's to help frame it up with a target or even just to try and recognise the star patterns when I'm trying to actually get my frame in just right. So, without further ado, I'm going to give you a tour around Sky Safari. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is kind of like my Astro page on my mobile phone. So we've got two versions of Sky Safari here. Um, Sky Safari 5 and Sky Safari 6. Now, um, they come in different flavours. I call them, pl there's Plus and Pro. I think Plus is a bit cheaper than Pro. Pro can be quite expensive. Um, and I tend to do, on Go on, I, I'm sorry, on Android, you can do um, surveys from Go Google to earn like play credit. And that's how I earned enough credit to get these apps. So even though I use Sky Safari 5 Plus, I'm going to show you Sky Safari 6 Plus. So if we open the app, and I'm just going to quickly go to now and I'm going to search for tonight's best. So let's say we want to have a look at the Whirlpool Galaxy. You, give, you can click on it and it will bring you up information. Sometimes I just sit and watch um, and read all the information about stuff because I find it quite interesting. But you can also click center and it will take you directly there. So you'll notice this box here and basically I've got it set up to show my field of view at the moment with the Celestron Rasa 8 and the Altair Astro 294C. Now I can change that, I can change it to um, a different field of view, so let's, if I wanted my Hypercam I could click that one and take that one off and go back and it would change my field of view accordingly. You might be thinking, how do I add my own equipment to Sky Safari? Now, if you click on Observe, click on Equipment, here you can add telescopes, eyepieces, cameras, and Barlow and Focal Reducers. So if I go to Add Telescope, Let's just think of something, a Celestron scope. You can then add the details. And that works for the camera and all the different ones as well. If I add an eyepiece, so I've got an Altair Ultra Flat piece you can then put the the different details in here and the order ultra flat is 65 degree field of view apparent field of view so I'm going to put that as AA UF would help if I could type 18 and it's Altair Astro. So now I could just go to observe, scope display. I could say I want my Altair Astro 72 EDF and I want my ultra flat and that's kind of the field of view it would give me even though it's a square it 
gives you an idea of what you could ah does help if I actually change it to the right one doesn't it there you go that's my field of view with my Alta Astro 72 EDF and my ultra flat 18 mil eyepiece so that isn't just the only thing we can do with Sky Safari we can use a planner um, I often use the Sky Safari planner to decide on what I'm going to take images of so if I'm ever having a problem where I can't decide what to image, I might come on here and click Bright Nebulae because I love to take pictures of nebulas. And I can select a date range. You could select all of these things if you wanted to, but I tend to go, say, let's say tonight from 8.30pm to 5am and do a search. And then can just go through the list and choose one that's appropriate for my my location or you can make it into an observing list it's entirely up to you so let's go for the Orion Nebula we're below the horizon now so if I fast forward time by a few hours there we go so it's cloudy now, but it's, you know, be 2 a.m., 3 a.m. I could actually get out here and do some observing if I wanted to. Or if I wanted to take an image of it, I could put my telescope field of view on there. This isn't the only thing that Sky Safari can do, though. You, If you have... Um, a Wi-Fi connection to your telescope. For example, I have um, a SynScan Wi-Fi adapt adapter for my HEQ5. I rarely use it, but you can connect it to. Of course, at the moment, I'm not connected to it, so there's a connection failure. But you can go to Settings, and you go to Scope Setup, and you can use it to connect, use these settings to connect your SynScan Wi-Fi adapter and there are other ways to connect as well if you've got different adapters and different mounts. So all in all, I think Sky Safari is a really useful um, app. I know there are others out there like Stellarium and but to be honest since downloading Sky Safari I've not used any of them. Um, so I highly recommend it as one of my must-have apps and I think that's about it. You can also change this horizon as well so just before I go you can have the horizon as realistic and you can select a location so for example I'm gonna have a meteor crater pretty impressive or you could just have it as um, a translucent area as a transparent area with a line so you could see everything that's below the horizon as well there's the large Magellanic cloud hopefully this has been useful um, as always thanks for watching bye for now What do you think about Sky Safari? Any good? No? Okay.